Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this truss by method of sections. I have analyzed this truss by method of joints also. You can click the link in the description and watch the video. We need to find this height. Let us keep this point as F and let us keep the height as X. We know that tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Using that concept, we can find the height x, which is 3.46 meter. We need to find the horizontal reaction HA and the vertical reactions VA and VD. In the method of joints, I have already explained how to find the reactions. You can click the link in the description and watch the video. I am going to make the first section like this and I am going to take the right side portion and do the analysis. Let us take movements about C. When we take movement about C, we should not consider FCD. The remaining forces are FDE and 7.16. We can keep clockwise as positive and anticlockwise as negative. The reaction 7.16 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4 by 2, it will be 2. FDE is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.46. For FDE, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. Now let us take a moment about E. When we take a moment about E, we should not consider FDE. The remaining forces are 7.16 and FCD 7.16 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. About the point E, FCD is not perpendicular. We have to resolve FCD with respect to CE or with respect to DE. I am going to resolve FCD with respect to DE. To make FCD perpendicular to DE, we have to keep it in the vertical direction. To keep it in the vertical direction, we need 30 degree. Now FCD is acting in the anticlockwise direction about the point E. So it will be negative and the distance is 4. Since we have resolved it in the vertical direction, we have to multiply with cos 30. For FCD, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Alternatively, we can apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find FCD. This reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive. FCD is inclined, we have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need 30 degree. Since it is acting upwards, it will be positive and we have to multiply with the cos 30. In this way for FCD, we will get 8.27 kN which is compressive. Now I am going to make the second section like this and take the right side part and do the analysis. Let us take a moment about E. When we take a moment about E, we should not consider FCE and FDE. The remaining forces are FBC 5 and 7.16. FBC is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3.46. 5 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.46. 7.16 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. For FBC, we will get a negative value that means it is compressive. Now let us take a moment about D. When we take a moment about D, we should not consider FTE and 7.16. The remaining forces are FCE, FBC and 5. 5 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.46. FBC is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3.46. About the point D, FCE is not perpendicular. We have to resolve FCE with respect to ED or with respect to CED. I am going to resolve FCE 
with respect to ed to make fce perpendicular to ed we have to keep it in the vertical direction to keep it in the vertical direction we need 30 degree about the point d it is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4 since we have resolved it in the vertical direction we have to multiply with the cos 30 we know the value of fbc 3.27 and it is compressive since it is compressive we have to apply as negative for fce we will get a positive value that means it is tensile alternatively we can apply this rule and find fce this reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive fce is inclined we have to make it vertical to make it vertical we need 30 degree since it is acting downwards it will be negative and we have to multiply with the cos 30 in this way for fce we will get 8.27 kN which is tensile now i am going to make the third section like this and i am going to take the left side portion and do the analysis we can take moment about b and find fae when we take moment about b we should not consider fbc fbe and 8 the remaining forces are 5 6.84 and fae in this case there will be only one unknown force that is fae that is why i have taken moment about b 5 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.46 6.84 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4 by 2 it will be 2 FAE is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3.46 for FAE we will get a positive value that means it is tensile now let us take moment about A. When we take moment about A, we should not consider 5, 6.84 and FAE. The remaining forces are FBE, FBC and 8. 8 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. FBC is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.46 about the point A FBE is not perpendicular we can resolve FBE with respect to BA or with respect to EA I am going to resolve FBE with respect to EA to make FBE perpendicular to AE we have to make it vertical to make it vertical we need 30 degree FBE is acting in the clockwise direction about the point A so it will be positive and the distance is 4 then we have to multiply with the cos 30 we know the value of FBC which is compressive so we have to apply as negative finally for FBE we will get a negative value that means it is compressive alternatively we can apply this rule and find FBE this reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive this load is acting downwards so that it will be negative FBE is inclined we have to make it vertical to make it vertical we need 30 degree since it is acting downwards it will be negative and we have to multiply with the cos 30 in this way for FBE we will get 1.35 kN which is compressive now I am going to make the fourth and last section like this and I am going to take the left side portion and do the analysis. We have already found FAE, we need to only find FAB. Let us take moment about E. When we take moment about E, we should not consider FAE and 5. The remaining forces are 6.84 and FAB. 6.84 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4 about the point E FAB is not perpendicular we can resolve it with respect to BE or with respect to AE I am going to resolve it with respect to AE to make FAB perpendicular to AE we have to keep it in the vertical direction 
to keep it in the vertical direction we need 30 degree about the point E FAB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4 then we have to multiply with the cos 30 for FAB we will get a negative value that means it is compressive alternatively we can apply this rule and find FAB this reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive FAB is inclined we have to make it vertical to make it vertical we need 30 degree FAB is acting upwards so that it will be positive and we have to multiply it with the cos 30 in this way for FAB we will get 7.9 which is compressive we have found all of the member forces here I have tabulated them now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video